What does this number on your camera lens actually mean? Now you might know it as the focal length, a technical measure of how zoomed in or zoomed out your lens is, but specifically what is this 56 millimeters measuring? Now you'd be forgiven for thinking it might be the length or the diameter of the lens, but it's not. Trust me, I've checked. So to explain it, let's imagine the simplest possible lens, a magnifying glass, a single thin piece of glass. Now when the lens is focused at infinity, at objects way off in the distance, the light rays bouncing off those objects into the lens are coming in basically parallel to each other. And what the lens does is it bends those light rays in towards each other. This is called refraction. And the point at which those light rays converge into a single sharp image is called the focal plane. And the focal length is the distance from that focal plane to the point where you can model that refraction is happening. And that's called the principal image plane. And in our simple magnifying glass lens, that's the middle of the lens. And real life lenses are much more complicated than that. They have lots of pieces of glass inside that bend the light in lots of different ways. But you can still model a refraction as happening at a single point. And that's where you put the principal image plane. But because that principal image plane is just a hypothetical point, depending on how the light rays are bent inside the lens, the principal image plane could be inside the lens or way out in front or out behind the lens. That technique of moving the principal image plane which is the only way that wide-angle lenses ever became possible on SLR cameras. To hear the story of how that happened, watch the video linked below.